we're going to factor a four-term polynomial by grouping. And why is it called grouping? Because we group the first two terms and we group the second two terms. So I'm going to group the first two terms and I'm going to group the second two terms and then I'm going to factor the first two terms by the greatest common factor. Both of these terms have an A in them, so I'll pull out an A, and then A times what is A squared? Well, A times A is A squared. Copy the minus sign. A times what is 7A? Well, 7 because a times 7 is 7a. Seven We've taken care of the first set of parentheses. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to factor the second set of parentheses by GCF. Both of these terms have a b in them, so I'll pull out the b as a common factor. b times what is ab? Well, times a. So I'll write down an a, copy down the minus sign, and then b times what is 7b? 7. b times 7 is 7b. So now we've factored the second set of parentheses by GCF, the greatest common factor. Now, consider the entire polynomial. The plus in the middle separates the first term from the second term. Notice that both of these terms have an a minus 7. I will pull a minus 7 out as the GCF. And then I'll write the leftovers, a plus B. Now, how can we be sure that we got it right? By foiling. F plus O plus I plus L. A times A is a squared. Outside is a times b. Inside is minus 7a. And last is minus 7b. And remember, there's an understood plus sign anytime you subtract. And when you have plus signs, when you have terms that are added, the order doesn't matter, so you can rearrange them. Well, now that I have my imaginary plus signs, they're not imaginary. They're really there, only we don't usually write them. I can now switch my terms around. a squared minus 7a plus ab minus 7b. This is exactly what I started with, and that means that this is the correct factorization.